Welcome to the press conference, the first part uh, with Coach Micevic um, after the 73-77 uh, uh, loss um, of Ulm. Uh, Coach Micevic, um, tonight it seems your team always had an answer, especially from the three-point line. Where have you seen the, uh, the crucial moment of the game? Yes. Uh, first of all, uh, before two days we have one very tough tough game against the Euroleague team and uh, in the first quarter we lack focus, we lack a lot of energy in our game and uh, uh, we'll deserve to, to, to have more than these 12, 12 points uh, different. Uh, on the end of the first half I think we have a better result than what we, what we play and uh, for me it's a, it's a, it's a key of the, of the game. Uh, lack of focus in some moments, lack of energy, and I think uh, some important uh, attack, some important offense. We finish more than on individual quality than on uh, some some team 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 offense. But for us, it's a very important win. It's a win for top 16 of uh, Euro Cup, and we are very very happy because of that. Congratulations for advancing to top 16. Thank you very much. Um, do we have any further questions here? If this is not the case, um, I wish you a safe trip home and good luck in the top 16. Thank you. Good luck for everybody. Bye bye. Thank you.
The second part of the first conference, um, Demetrius Conger. Second um, game in orange, first loss. Um, how does it feel? Um, it, it, it feels good. You know, it's come along, it's a process, but, you know, I'm starting to get into the, the groove of things, you know, it's day by day. Yeah. Let's talk about the game a little. Um, after a terrific start, uh, you somehow lost the rhythm, uh, the mojo, the momentum. Was it more like um, they forced you into tough shots and they, they picked up on defense, or did you relax a little bit too early? Um, I, I, I mean, from, from my point of view, I think it was just a momentum and just, you know, ex execution yeah. type thing, you know. I think, you know, they, they started to gain more and more momentum and towards the end of the game and, you know, that, that showed, yeah. I mean, you never gave up until no. the final, final seconds, uh, but how tough and maybe even frustrating it was that they always had an answer. They always hit, hit a big three. Um, I mean, it, you know, just just seemed like the basketball gods was on their side, you know. They just made tough shots, you know, yeah. with a hand in their face. Yeah. And, I mean, it's, you know, if you could test it, you know, don't follow them, you know, if ain't really much you could do about that. Yeah. Yeah. These are my questions. Um, any questions to uh, Demetrius? If this is not the case, um, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Take a shower and take a rest. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Eka, let's keep it simple. What's your what's your what's your resume of this game tonight? Um, first of all, congratulations to Budućnost. Uh, they played a, a good game, uh, especially down the stretch. Uh, they made a hell of a individual plays, uh, which uh, I thought uh, we even played a solid defense, but. Uh, Uh, individual quality of uh, Kops, uh, Ivanovic uh, uh, made the difference in the end. Uh, so, um, congratulations to Budućnost. Uh, and uh, on the other side, uh, small details. Uh, uh, um, was, a, was a factor for us uh, to win this game. But uh, I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, hold anything against our players. I think. Uh, Uh, I think they had uh, they fought great. They had a good game, but uh, in the end uh, we just uh, was a little bit too short. Demetrius just um, named it um, when I asked him about these really incredible tough shots. He said maybe the basketball god was was on their side, so there's not not too much you can do against that. Uh, no, uh, uh, really not. Uh, I thought. Uh, Really, a couple of shots was uh, tough. Uh, we, if you ask me if we could defend it better, maybe we always can defend better. It's always can, but uh, I thought uh, uh, they just made a good shot. In the end, uh, it's uh, it's really simple. Um, yeah. So uh, uh, they all the credits goes to to them, and um, Uh, that's why uh, that's why they win the game this game and that's why they won a uh, uh, red star euroleague team uh, on sunday so um, uh, nothing more to add yeah, thank you uh, how much impact had the, the game on sunday and the fact that you just got one or like one and a half days to preparate for this game uh. Yes, um, it, for sure. But uh, this is uh, this is something that uh, we cannot uh, change. Uh, on the other side, Budućnost had the game on Sunday as well, um, plus the travel. Um, so uh, this is uh, this is something. It's uh, 
out of our hands. Uh, we prepared as best as we could, uh, uh, and in this game, like I, s I told my team, um, those games uh, which are. Uh, big games uh, with the uh, meanings, uh, crucial games. Uh, this uh, many times is not win won by tactics. You know, it's uh, won by who wants it more, uh, who will make the big shot. Uh, and uh, in this case, uh, Budućnost uh, had this uh, individual quality to make that big shot. Another question from me. Uh, can you explain how did uh, you Get a little bit careless in the second quarter. Uh, yeah, we did. We did. We did. Uh, uh, we did a couple of uh, bad defenses. Uh, uh, the momentum, the, the momentum turned uh, to Budućno side with uh, two, three points of Shehovic from baseline out of bounds, which, uh, which we knew, but uh, we didn't defend it good. Uh, so in that moment, I thought that uh, momentum changed. Um, we tried to stop it with the timeout, uh, with uh, some substitutions. But uh, Budućnost is also a good team. Uh, they uh, they punished us on the couple of uh, of rotations uh, where where we weren't uh, we were uh, in good positions, but we weren't. Uh, aggressive or uh, uh, fast enough uh, so they made also uh, shots so this was the momentum change and uh, the second quarter was uh, was not good for us thank you Jaka okay thanks for, for watching and have a good night thank you